We're here at our Carol and Janelle, the Bochy Courts outside with Marywood Cross Country. Ethan Senecal is with us, the head coach. And uh, Ethan, let's talk a little bit about uh, the season, how are things going so far, both on the women and the men's side. Uh, you know, so far so good. We, uh, we're just about halfway into the season. You know, we're still building into that mileage. We've had a couple meets uh, so far. Got a, a big meet this weekend. Um, really, we're doing well. Um, there's not a lot of team scoring going on. We've, you know, we've placed third at Oneana a couple weeks ago. And uh, like I said, we're going into Dickinson this weekend, so that'll be, that'll be a good test. Um, individual performances, you know, we've done really well. David Haynes, he's had a couple top five performances already. Um, some of our, our senior, Devin Clark, he's been doing really well. All of our men across the board, uh, Nate Skrutsky's really stepped up. Um, on the women's side, Kelby Cole, senior captain, she, she's had a couple really good races. And, you know, and the, the athletes behind her also have also been doing really well with uh, Brianna Lotzerad, Ashley Clark. You know, we've got a really solid group on both sides, I think. Talk about uh, getting after it. Talk about that mile increase, you know, as, as the season goes along. You know, when, when they're in college and they're running, uh, these athletes are pretty self-motivated. So over the summer, they're putting in their miles. So yeah. when they're coming to you, I'm sure they're pretty much where you want them, right? Uh, not always. You know, that, that's uh, the, the ideal situation. Um, but we do a really good job of starting them out. You know, they got a good summer plan going on, and then we get them in, in in late August, and we just really make sure that we continue to build on those summer mileage safely. You know, increasing that, you know, five, ten miles a week, depending on who it is, and slowly building in the speed as we go on, just to make sure you know we got to set that base and just make sure we do it safely so no one gets hurt. Let's talk a little bit about your coaching background. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us where you come from and and all the the tutelage that you've had. <laughs> Um, I'm originally from New York. Um, I, I went to college in uh, Western New York at a state school. I uh, coached at RIT for uh, four years, had a couple All-Americans in the pole vault. Went to SUNY Brockport, uh, where I actually uh, graduated from. Um, coached there for three years as the jumps and the multi-coach. Uh, did a lot with recruiting and, and stuff there. Did pretty well, you know, we had a few more All-Americans there. Came to Marywood a uh, little over two years ago. Uh, it was my first head coaching job. You know, took over cross country as well. Uh, I'm more of a track guy. I don't think that's a secret. You know, I have a great assistant coach with Kevin Borelli um, here, here at Marywood. Uh, we work really well together. But me personally, you know, I'm a track guy first and foremost as far as skill set goes. Um, I'm definitely pole vault jumps, uh, the decathlon, heptathlon, those types of things. That, that's more my wheelhouse than the distance running stuff. So it's nice that I have Kevin to really offset me with that type of training, you know, mentality and whatnot. Let's talk about how the fall goes overall, the schedule wise, and and what's what's coming up here in October, uh, right around the corner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you know, like I said, this weekend we have Dickinson, so this will be our last meet uh, before we really start working on that speed. Um, we've only got two meets in October. Uh, in the middle of October, I believe it's October 14th, we go down to Rowan University. It's called the Interregion Battle. Basically, it's the fastest schools in Division Three will be there on the East Coast. Um, it's a very flat fast course so we're excited to really that's going to be our tune-up for our championship meet which is coming up I believe it's uh, October 28th um, and that's going to be uh, down in uh, Cheslin Preserve near Philly um, so we're really excited like I said we've got two meets coming up uh, one meet just to get ready for the championship and then the championships at the, uh, the end of October. Recruiting wise to uh, talk about you know hitting the streets mm -hmm. getting to schools and, and mm -hmm. you know just talking to, to young men and women of course talking to their parents as well as about what Mary Wood has to offer and uh, Pacers just seem like they grow uh, continue to grow both academically and athletically over the years uh, and it seems like you're, yeah. you're finding a good home there. Yeah absolutely you know Mary Wood offers a lot of unique uh, academic uh, majors and uh, from you know undergrad to, to master's degree you know we offer a lot of different things that other schools might as far as like architecture speech pathology nursing those type of programs are really our niche you know um, it's a unique a unique student athlete that we recruit at Marywood you know I don't really look at any athletes that have lower than a 3.0 GPA you know we really it really narrows down who I go after and you know it's been going really well uh, roster sizes are up you know both both track and cross country um, athletic skill levels up as well so things have been going really really well we do get out and get out and see as many you know the local meets as we can but we've got athletes from Washington State Texas uh, Massachusetts Maine you know all over New Jersey Connecticut so it's not just a, a NEPA thing it's you know it's all over it's a great to catch up with you and continued success there for the Pacers of Marywood University uh, thank you John Marywood University cross country here on the John Mandola show at our Carol and Janelle here at the Bochy courts outside David Haynes is with us, and uh, you're just a, a stone throw away uh, up the road from your, your high school. Let's talk a little bit about your, your roots as a runner. Um, I started running when I was when I was really young. I did a lot of uh, like road races with my, my, my family, uh, probably when I was 
like 11. And then uh, when I was in eighth grade, I went out for the cross country team for North Pocono. And ever since then, I just started to love running even more and more. And uh, just something I decided I really wanted to work at and be good at. And so that's where I'm at now. How about your accomplishments in high school? Uh, what were some of the best things that you were able to do? Uh, for in, I was fifth at states for cross country. I won districts for cross country. Um, I was runner of the year for the Lackawanna League for cross country. And then for track, I was district champion for the 3200. And states, I was 12. So those are my biggest. You got a lot of <laughs> a lot of big accomplishments. How about running now here collegiately? What's it like at uh, at Marywood University and some of the competition you're fine facing here as a freshman? Uh, the training is, I have a great coaches, I have really good coaches, uh, they're really pushing me and uh, the competition, I mean, I'm used to like, in high school, the dual meets, I'd be like, you know, in first all time, now with the college, there's really good athletes and runners that I'm not always in front and I'm not always winning the races, uh, just have to adjust to uh, like running in a pack again, uh, I, I was never, I never liked running in a pack, I always like, I don't know, like space to move around but uh yeah it's i'm adjusting to it and uh hopefully i keep improve, improving so. well let's talk a little bit about uh, your teammates and and kind of finding that fit and that niche uh, what's that been like for you uh yeah my teammates are really good uh devin and chris they they're two seniors on the team uh they were they're really good when i first started they were there to uh Help me along, get used to like college running and just college period. And uh, I just, it was, it's a great team. It's a lot of fun. It's it's fun to go to different races together uh, and like practice too. It's it's really good. Let's talk about your siblings. You got a big big family. <laughs> so take us through everybody in your family. Uh, my sister Susanna. She she's a runner. Um, she was the first one to start actually. So she kind of, well, my mom did, started running and uh, then my sister. She's uh, done Steamtown Marathon. She's qualified for Boston Marathon. Uh, and then my Abigail, she, she ran cross country too. She started with me. She's a sophomore in college. And she, we started out together. And that was really nice because going to something new, I wasn't, it's, it's scary, you know, never doing it before, but it was, it was uh, really nice to have her there, and then I uh, my two my three younger siblings. Uh, they don't actually Adam. He he's running for North Pocono right now. He's in eighth grade. Uh, uh, hopefully, my younger brother also will run when he gets older. <laughs> Early childhood education is uh, what you're focusing on. So, what are you excited about with uh, with that? Anybody in the family uh, in that that field? No, actually. Not right now. My sis Abigail, she's going for the same thing. But uh, I just like working with kids. Uh, I like teaching. Uh, I want to coach, like running. I think when I in high school or maybe college, and I think it just it's a good opportunity to be able to get a, like a coaching job. So too. But I also I like teaching. Rob Aaron's uh, somebody that uh, kind of can learn a lot from here locally in northeastern Pennsylvania. You talk about your relationship with him. Uh, he's 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 probably one of the one of the biggest people helping me with my running. Uh, I run with him a lot. He's helped me coach me. Uh, he's encouraged me a lot. Uh, he uh, he's just a great person. Yeah. Early life as a college student. Uh, what are you getting used to? Getting your feet wet here after a little over a month of college. Uh, I'm actually home. I was homeschooled in high school, so just like adjusting to the the classroom, being with other students, uh, time management, <laughs> making sure I'm studying enough and prepared for all my classes and getting all my homework done. <laughs> all that fun stuff. Well, David, it's uh, great to catch up with you. Uh, we wish you continued success and uh, <laughs> have a great freshman year there at Marywood. Thanks. Devin Clark joins us, a fourth year architect major at Marywood University. And uh, Devin, let's talk a little bit about your major. Not everybody can be an architect, but something that you chose and, and you know, there's some challenges I'm sure with it, but a lot yeah. of rewards to talk about uh, what it's been like. Yeah, for so uh, architecture is known to be uh, rigorous in time um, and cross country is also rigorous in time. So a lot of people have the issue of balancing cross country and uh, 
and the design world of architecture, but for me it's working pretty well. Um, I practice with the team at 6 o'clock in the morning and then do my architecture work after that, so it's been working pretty well so far. And captain, so uh, you're a leader, and uh, talk about uh, trying to guide some of these young uh, runners that you have, and you have one that uh, is just from up the road, and he seems like he's adjusting well to college life. Yeah, it's cool, um, especially as captain, it's neat to see the team building. Um, it's cool, especially as captain, to see the team growing as a unit. Uh, so we, we're a family on the course, we're also a family off the course. We do a lot of uh, a lot of things outside of practice, like we go Mannings and we, we have ice cream runs and we have movie nights um, and we hang out as a team. So as a captain, it's cool to see that bond grow. And you got a, a family at Marywood, you got a family at home and a, yeah. and a big family. So talk about uh, your relationship with your brother and sisters. Yeah, so uh, my brother Justin used to run for Keystone College. He's now at East Stroudsburg uh, for graduate studies. Um, and my sister is actually on the Marywood cross country team. She's a freshman this year for uh, medical laboratory sciences, um, and she's doing well for the team. Um, so yeah. Awesome to hear, and uh, of course you're, you're such a dedicated student, uh, 3.7 grade point average. Talk about the, the work ethic uh, that you have to have in college, and, and I'm sure it feels really good to, because you know you're doing it on your own, the time management and the putting in all yeah. that time, and, and it is your passion, it's something you love. Yeah, uh, cross country has helped me, I would say, with that, because you know, cross country is a dedication sport. It's all about endurance and uh, and being able to endure the time that you're on the course. And I think that's the same with schooling too. So you have to wake up and I'm done with practice. I get home, shower, and then right to schoolwork. And it, it gives me a rigid schedule, which works pretty well with my architecture degree. Folks have been a big part of your life. Talk about the how they kind of laid the foundation for you. Yeah, so uh, they've always pushed us to do the best we can. Uh, that goes with schooling, with uh, cross country, and with anything we try. So. Uh, on the course, I run as hard as I can for as long as I can, and in schooling, I'll study as hard as I can for as long as I can, too. What do you think it takes to be a, a good architect, and, and obviously you're just about done with that, so uh, what, what are some of the, the skill sets you have with that? For architecture, you have to be able to roll with the punches, so uh, it's a very opinionated degree, so you have to accept some people's opinion um, and let it roll off you, and then other opinions you have to take as a critique. and. You have to accept it for face value and see how it could better your own design. And how do you see your life developing with that degree as here you wrap up your, your right. degree at Marywood University? Yeah, uh, actually it's a four-year degree, so I'll still have another year. It's a five-year program. Um, so in another year, when I'm, when I'm done with that, I'm hoping to be in the firm um, and just furthering design, learning more about architecture and more about, more about just design, I guess. Devin, uh, you having fun with uh, with the meets and cross country and, and competing? Talk about some of the competition that you face and what that's like traveling on the road a little bit. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, most of the competition for me this year actually is just within the team. Um, we have two runners who are very good, David Haynes uh, and Chris Golombeski, who are we're all neck and neck. Um, Chris Golombeski being a guy right by me and then David Haynes pushing ahead of us a little bit. Um, during workouts, during races, we're always pushing each other to, uh, to new heights for running. Well, Devin, uh, it's great to get to know your story. Uh, and, of course, we wish you the very best of luck. And uh, awesome to hear that you and your sister are, are able to do it together there at Marywood University. Best of luck. Yeah, thank you. Kelby Cole joins us. She is a senior at Marywood University. And, uh, Kelby, let's talk about uh, your career there for the, uh, the Pacers. It's been pretty crazy. Um, I never ran cross country until I got to college, so it's just been neat to learn how to run and how all of that works and learning with the team and everything. As far as uh, being one of the captains on the team, let's talk about one of the other captains over there. He seems like a, a pretty good guy, so what's that balance been like? It's been great. Like It's really awesome to just facilitate um, the team, like the family bonding, because we're with them so much that you really do become a family. So it's been really great to just be a part of that. How much is, is running uh, fun for you? And then other times, I'm sure there could be days where you think it's a task and other days where it could be fun. And you know, and then there's every once in a while that personality that says, I just like it all the time. So where are you at with it? I'm probably in the middle. Because um, sometimes waking up at six o'clock to run when it's really cold isn't too enjoyable but then we get to races and we do really well and you can see how much you're improving over a season. And I think that's what makes it worthwhile for me. How about the little things about running? You know, a sore knee, a, you tweak an ankle, your hamstring. There, there's some various injuries that you may go through. And how about yourself? Have you been relatively pretty healthy in your college career? I 
have been. Knock on wood if it's around here, but <laughs> luckily they do a lot to keep us healthy. Like we do a lot of lifting and just strength conditioning to try to keep us from getting those little bumps and bruises and that's been really helpful. Of course your major kind of rolls right into that nutrition, dietetics and uh, Spanish. So take us through uh, you know, what that's all about for you. So what I would love to do in the future is to work with the Hispanic population in foreign countries like third world countries like Guatemala and to help them kind of set up healthcare systems and to just learn how to be healthy with what they have. So that's why I wanted to merge the two majors together. That's an awesome idea and uh, of course we wish you the best uh, at that but a 3.9 grade point average I guess <laughs> you're pretty much mastering it huh? I'm trying to. Let's talk about the, your parents and the support you get at, at home and, and you know, kind of gave you the base that you, you've built up here as a, a senior in college. They've been so supportive. Uh, my mom is actually the one who convinced me to run because I didn't want to because I never ran. I was like, I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> and so she really pushed me to even try it. So it's been really great to have them supporting me and coming to the meets and just being with me through the whole journey. And of course you're squeezed in the middle between uh, your brothers, Jake and Josh, so talk a little bit about each of them. So Jake, my older brother, um, he's 23 and he um, he's just been really great. I've always looked up to him and kind of wanted to follow in his footsteps as far as like he's very creative in what he does, so I've always tried to strive to be as creative as he is. And then my younger brother, Josh, he's 17. Um, he's just a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> I always like seeing what comes out of his mouth next and what he's gonna try. He's very adventurous. And uh, life after a college internship, uh, talk about where you, do you have that set or is that something still in the, the mix? It's still in the workings. We all have to apply after our senior year. So just working on the application, figuring out where in the country I'm kind of looking at. So it's still in the works. Uh, you got so much going for you, Kelby, mm -hmm. and uh, you still have a, a whole year of cross country and then track and field in the spring. So uh, continued success and we wish you the very best. I think you're going to do very well. Thank you. Ashley Clark joining us. She is a freshman at Marywood University with the cross country and the track and field program. And, uh, Ashley, uh, you have an advantage. Your brother is in the program. He's showing you all the ropes. Uh, you still got to go out and perform though. Mm -hmm. So. Talk a little bit about what it's been like for you. He seems to be pretty happy with uh, having you around. Yeah, um, it's definitely challenging. Um, I actually didn't want to do cross country at, in, for the first place, um, but my brother, he kind of talked me into it. Um, and I mean, I'm glad I did it. The team is absolutely amazing. The girls are phenomenal. The cross country team as a whole is basically like my second family. So it's really nice. Overall, uh, let's talk about the, the rigor so far of, of being a, a college athlete here in a month or so. Uh, what have you learned a little bit about yourself? It's, it's hard trying to do, have like nice time management skills. Um, I learned that I do know how to do that, luckily. Um, but I've also learned that I'm a lot more capable of things that I didn't necessarily knew I was capable of. Um, I Surprisingly, I just ran 10 miles this past weekend, and I've never done that before, so I'm, I'm setting new records for myself, and I'm really happy about that. You come from a big family, so yeah. let's talk a little bit about the, the competition in the family itself and what that's been like. Yeah, growing up, I kind of always have felt like I was obligated to run, in a sense. Um, so, I mean, it started in high school. I've ran all throughout high school starting in ninth grade. Um, my brothers are all huge runners. Um, my oldest brother Justin, he runs, he ran for Keystone College. Um, Devin is currently on the Marywood team, you just spoke with him. And it's just, we're a running family. Medical laboratory science, let's talk about that, that major. Why uh, did you pick that and what do you, what do you, what's, what's the goal for that eventually? I'm. I would say I'm a huge chemistry and biology geek. I, that's just kind of my forte. Um, I I just love talking about that kinds of things. And 
the medical like scenarios, the scenery and like, workplace and everything. Um, eventually, I hope to be in a hospital, um, working, testing someone's blood or something of that sort. Let's talk about the folks and uh, them inspiring you and and kind of making sure everything is kind of lined up for you and you've done a great job I'm sure on your part. Yeah, my parents have always been there for me. My, they've never missed me. I mean, maybe like once or twice, but they felt very badly about it. My mom is a huge photographer in the family, so she always brings her camera. She takes pictures of everyone on the team, no matter like if she knows them or not. Um, and my grandma, <laughs> my grandma always makes cookies for the team and it started in high school and now it's in college and the team just immediately knows that they're going to get cookies at the end of a race just because grandma knows. <laughs> that is so <laughs> and cute. She cooks them. And what's grandma's specialty cookie that she makes? Chocolate chip cookies. All right. Well, Ashley, uh, obviously a, a fun time uh, chatting with you here at our Carol and Janelle and uh, you got a big career ahead of you just your mm -hmm. freshman year. We wish you the best. Thank you. I appreciate it.